Hello everyone and welcome to one of our literal translations video. Um, today we will be looking at French surnames and I will ask our tomatoes um, to have a guess at the translation of the surnames that I will be listing. Are you ready? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, well, I will also give you a clue for each one of them and um, see how well you will do. That is appreciated, thank you. <laughs> we definitely need it. <laughs> okay, so the first one um, is a surname which has got to do with nature, an element of nature. Um, Ashley, do you want to read it? La Roche. Yes. What did you say, Nelvin? Rock. Yeah, you got it already. <laughs> okay, well done. Yeah. What's yes. the yeah. next one? <laughs> Not just my Hungarian, but my French is improving too. Yeah, well done. Nice. I suppose it is similar to rock in English, but La Roche is indeed mm -hmm. the rock, uh, which is a common surname. Now we move on to another one, which has it. It's um. Also, the name of an animal. L'oiseau. Mm -hmm. L'oiseau. L'oiseau. A bird, maybe? Something? Yeah, well done, Ashley. <laughs> it is. So, um, if you were to write it as the bird, you would write so L like apostrophe. apostrophe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But as a surname, it's actually written that way. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Which comes from the name of the bird. Nice. Whoa. The next one, so these are all types of ca characteristics of, that you can find um, in common French surnames. And this one is describing a physical trait. So, uh, um, Nelvin, would you like to read it? Le roux. Yeah, well done. Le roux. Is it like a colour of hair? It's like red yes. hair? Yes, exactly. Wow. It means the red haired. <laughs> The next one is again um, the name of an animal. Petra, would you like to read it? Sure. Cochon? Yes. Sheep? Nope. But not too far, I suppose. Goat? Nope. I mean, it's a farm animal. <laughs> That's what I mean. Cow? A cow? No. No, cow is lavish. Oh, that's yeah, well done. <laughs> this is one of the main, still one of the main farm animals. I mean, okay, so chicken. Pig? Sorry? Chicken. Nope. I said I guess pig. Pig, yes, pig. Ooh. So yes. that's not um, the most attractive surname to have, I would um, assume. No. <laughs> it is uh, not that uncommon. Fairly uncommon. Um, now the next one is referring to a personality trait. Freak? Yes. So I suppose this one you might have to guess. What sort of personality trait could it be? Boring. <laughs> no. Um, Quiet. No. Bourgeois. No. <laughs> what an English word you picked. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, confident. No, although you, I mean, you're going Inspired. in the right direction, ish. Who was close? Me or Petra? Uh, Petra. I can't remember what you said though. I said blunt. You said blunt, and Petra said confident. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you don't have to be confident, but you might, in the moment, come across as confident if you have. It's sort of related to a mood as well. Arrogant. Angry. No. It's when you're in a grump and also maybe you, you think you're right and... Stubborn? Everyone else is wrong. Stubborn. Yeah, so it's more stubborn. But you say this, it's quite... Um, I mean, you would say that use this term with children very often, say, um. uh, it means... And bourrique also refers to the animal 
um, the donkey. <laughs> I was going to ask that because in Spanish you see that quite often, uh, a un burro, and that yeah, like, you're a donkey, but it also means like, oh, you're so stubborn as a donkey. Exactly, and that's exactly what it means in French. Oh, okay. so, um, it can refer to both, it can refer to the personality trait and it can also refer to the donkey. The next one, um, Nelvin, you can read this one. Le Grand. Oh, and I haven't given you a clue. This the is big. related to a physical trait again. The big. Yes, the big. Exactly. So this the is big. very oh, common. Oh. This, this name is very common, Le Grand. Um, you can also have le petit, which is the small. That's... <laughs> oh, we have the same in Hungarian, like we have big and small and as surnames. Okay, the next one. This one might be a little bit more difficult. Petra, do you want to have a go at reading it? Sure. Généreux. Yes. Généreux. And this is again a personality trait. Generous. 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 Yes! <laughs> okay, so I guess English did help you there. <laughs> Think about the fact that it was so close to the English. At first, yeah. I saw this word, the first thing that came to my mind was generous, and you were like, this might be a bit difficult. I, was like, I know, like, that's what I thought. I thought you were like, oh, I thought that was kind of obvious. I didn't think about how close it was to the English, to be honest. <laughs> and then the last one we have here is, um, again, related to an element, an element of nature. Ashley, would you like to read this one? The fleur? Yes. The flowers? Flowers. It's not the flowers, but it's, um, flowers. it's like of the flowers. Of. So like it, it would mean you come from the flowers. Yeah. Aww. So the ones, the, the surnames that have de at the start is usually referring to where they come from, sort of the landscape. So de fleur means you come from the flowers. <laughs> But that's kind of like the the fawn fawn in German, no? Yeah, fond. exactly. In well, French. yes, but in uh, in, yeah. in French actually the fawn and the would be a du in front, so it's not the same thing. Uh, I mean, yes and no because it's the same idea, but um, the for it to be sort of a noble name, mm -hmm. um, you would have du as a separate DE and then the, the rest of the name. Oh. But if it's in one name, then it's not so noble, but it still is about the origin of it. Yeah. Yeah. Not so there so you go. Well, yeah. And you all did very well. <laughs> well done, everyone. Wonder how you did at home. Um, and if you can think of any other interesting surnames, in your language or in, or in French, you are very welcome to share them. Merci de voir regarder notre vidéo. Nous espérons que cela vous ait plu. Si c'est le cas, pensez à liker, commenter et à partager la vidéo avec votre famille et vos amis. Vous souhaitez en voir davantage? Allez jeter un coup d'œil à notre playlist. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner à notre chaîne et à cliquer sur la petite cloche pour recevoir des notifications de nos vidéos à venir.